Gentlemen, we're going to turn it over now to our hurricane specialist, Brian Norcross. Brian, what do you think now is going to be the biggest threat, and are there any particular areas that you're particularly concerned about? Well, the tsunami uh, is still underway, the energy is still in the ocean, and there are really three different aspects to this. The first one is the tremendous amount of energy the earthquake put in the ocean, and that 500 uh, mile an hour or so surge of energy, not of moving water, just of energy propagating out from the earthquake, and then that gets up to the coast and that creates the water rise and puts all this energy into the coastal waters. That's the first thing. The second thing is the local effects, uh, and what exactly do the harbors and the inlets and so forth do to that water? How do they funnel it and how do they affect that energy? It turns out the Crescent City is especially bad and it's, it's called harmonic. It just has the right size so that the water gets really sloshing in that area and that enhances the water rise and that's what's done so much damage there. The third effect we got to uh, pay attention to is the tide. Fortunately, this is happening generally at low tide, so this could have been much, 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 much worse all the way along the west coast. Let's look at Crescent City here. Here is the Oregon line there. We're right in northern California. Now, let's go into this harbor, and you can see the harbor is kind of facing down to the south there. These are the docks in here that we believe are up in here, and maybe over here as well, that we believe have been destroyed by this water being uh, pushed into this harbor and then sloshing back and forth in this harbor.